what's up all you beer tubers and home brewers alike. Today is my second ever homebrew Wednesday beer. Um, this, uh, I'm going to be taking a look at a beer I brewed back in October with Miles. And this is our Melfoss Whiskey Barrel Aged Russian Imperial Stout. So it's been sitting for almost 10 months. Um, it clocks in at 13.1% alcohol by volume. It is by far the biggest beer we've ever brewed. Um, it was the first beer to go into the whiskey barrel that we got from Bell Cones. And as you can see, we wax sealed it, the first beer we ever wax sealed. Um, this, I don't have the malt bill in front of me, actually, which uh, I will actually put percentages in the uh, description below, the like button, and that's a hint. Uh, yeah, so I haven't had one of these in probably since December, and it carved up kind of nicely. So I'm actually kind of excited to see where it stands now. I had it in the freezer for 10 minutes. I just wanted it to at least get down. Um, I like to drink my Imperial Stouts a little colder and then let them warm up and reevaluate. So I'm going to get this one opened off camera and come back with it and get the pour. Thanks. All right, so uh, the reason I actually open that off camera is because I'm always fearful of... Um, bottle infection or over carbonation or whatever so gonna get this one into a glass and uh, go from there like I said I haven't had this one since like December um, so I guess we'll see <laughs> and that was what I was kind of afraid of little to no carbonation but again at 13.1 percent and spending time in a whiskey barrel you would definitely expect that. <laughs> so, uh, the appearance on this one wasn't entirely pitch black, but uh, as you can see, the sides of the glass are already showing legs. Um, it's got some ruby red hues. It, it would be nice to be a little bit more carbonated, but I'll take what I can get for my first really, really big Imperial Stout. So, I'm going to get the nose on it. <sighs> Man. I get like this just extremely pungent Russian Imperial Stout characteristic, followed by hints of whiskey and oak. Subtle aromas of chocolate and burnt malts. There's some yeasty characteristic that I'm not sure I'm a fan of. And then, of course, there's alcohol. So. That's something to be expected at 13.1% and not even a year old. Um, I'm really excited to try this one. And it actually, you know, it did carve up decently. So, cheers. Wow, there's a lot of stout characteristic, duh. Um, man, tons and tons and tons and tons of roasted barley. Wafts of um, chocolate toffee. There's a lot of oak presence. I get like faint hints of bourbon. Um, it should be noted that this beer only spent four weeks in a barrel. So the barrel character is really, really subtle, which next time I'll definitely, definitely give it some extended aging time. Um, but yeah, those, those uh, Firestone Walker barrel qualities like the toffee and the vanilla, they're very faintly there. Um, Believe it or not, it's still drinking kind of hot, but it's good. 
I can go out and say that this is not a complete failure for um, first Russian Imperial Stout um, or first beer really that was brewed over 10% intentionally. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done and I really, really, really look forward to re-brewing batch two with a few minor tweaks in the recipe. Um, probably a little bit earlier this year, probably September. Uh, this pretty shockingly is not, not bad. And it's amazing. I don't know for you home brewers out there, but when you brew a beer, um, in the likeness of style, you know, you're trying to kind of shoot for a commercial aspect of a beer. Say for me, I think we were kind of going, I don't know where we were going with it, but, uh, Interestingly enough, when you crack a homebrew that is of this quality, in my eyes, um, and you, you try some other commercial examples that come out on the market that are the same style, and it's like, damn, I brewed a much better beer. That's kind of kind of kind of makes you feel good about yourself after what you put in a glass. So this baby, as you can see, 22 ounces of this is not being consumed today. I am going to pour a little bit more in glass and put some espresso beans in the rest of it, try out a little coffee experiment, and uh, come back with a 24-hour recapped version of the coffee style, hopefully if you guys even want to see that. Um, yeah, this is very loosely uh, Homebrew Wednesday for me, I look forward to sharing more of my beer with you. Um, yeah, guys, uh, if you have any ideas or improvements for recipes and stuff, I always love to chat with homebrewers. So if we want to exchange emails and do some chatting or Skyping or whatever, uh, there's always a lot to learn. So look forward to bringing more of these to you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and please always remember to respect beer. Cheers.